with another video. I am actually right now in the Grayson Cemetery, which my friends is in the middle of a trailer park in Stafford County, Virginia. Um, I was able to gain permission to walk through the cemetery to show you guys a little bit of it. And it is like, it backs right up to Interstate I-95. Like it's crazy how this is. But as you can see, we have some really pretty stones. I'm just gonna kind of go around and, well, there's one back up in the tree. I'm just gonna kind of go around and do a little bit of filming because we're going into the, the nighttime right now. This one is kind of in the middle of a tree. But back there, it's I-95, you guys. It's insane how this is. As you can tell, this is a really neat little cemetery. I mean, look how pretty that grave is. It even has a little bench. I just love this kind of explorer because you never know what you can find. I'm a big adventurist. I absolutely, whoa, that's not good. Looks like an animal dug its way on this one. Yeah. Ooh. This looks like a fairly new one. Yep, last year. Oh my. That was last year. But I mean, look, there's like an old swing set and a teddy bear. Oh my goodness. I have a little teddy bear that says, I love you and I don't know where to put it. I'll put it over here. I'll put it on Mr. Glenn's. He died in 2006. Rest easy. I mean, look, like this is also a good urban explore. Cause I mean, I mean, look at this. An old playground. I mean, who knows what's back there? As you can see, we're coming up on some graves as well. This is an actually a really, really nice cemetery. It is privately owned. So I, like I said, I did get permission to be on the property. He was a private first class in the U.S. Army. Thank you for your service, Mr. Greenhouse. And Miss Ruthie here. Rest easy, Miss Ruthie. Like I said, you never know where you can find these graveyards. Like, you never know. Hello, Miss Ella. Rest easy. Here's another. So what is he? Corporal 42 Base Unit AAF, World War II. Thank you for your service, Raymond. Like a lot of these are vets. And then you have Harvey Greenwich was a private in the US Army. And you can see these over here. This is just insane how amazing little graveyards can be. And as you can see, this is Mrs. Grayson Juggins. And these are very old. Can't even see who's with it. Uh-oh. Here's another really old one. And I'm not sure if this is a footstone or a headstone. <laughs> Stuff like this, you definitely never know what on earth. Jesse Graham. Like, what? These have to be cremations. Margaret Brooks. Florence Ida Graham, which is her. So this is her footstone right here. I mean, look guys, this is an actual, it backs up to somebody's house. This is insane. Okay, I'm gonna walk back up here and then I'm gonna go down another row before we get to the place I wanna see before we actually leave. Hang on a minute. Look at this. It's like it's reinforced with steel. 
there's something written on it. Like actually etched with like somebody etched it out. Alright guys, this is Mike. He's with me. Hi everybody. <laughs> I'm the drink carrier. He's carrying my drink. <laughs> the one down there died in 1933. Be careful because you're walking on it. Uh, you know, here's the thing you guys, when you're in cemeteries like this, you have to be real careful. Because I think these are footstones. Well, I don't know about that one. But... Sister Lily Jasper. 1899 to 1923. 20. Wow. Rest easy, sister. Look at this. October 1886, y'all. Like, these are old, old, old. Really, really old. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make my way down here and then come back around. I mean, these are so, so old. There's a bone right there. Oh, look at that. That's a little uneasy. That is. I ain't touching that. Don't know. Hang on. Hold on. 1959. Oh, wait. That's a baby. That's a baby. That's so sad. But this really makes me uneasy, you guys. It's a spine. Now, yes, it can definitely be like an animal, 110%, but look at this. That is like a legit spine. Just right here by this crate. Oh, here we go. Nelson, oh, okay. Three years old. He was a he was a little boy. All right, so we're gonna walk over here. Uh oh. All right, hang on a second. I mean, this is incredible, you guys. Absolutely incredible. All right, I'm gonna try to make my way back over here because there is another one over here. Ow! Be here. Oh. This one died in 1961, and oh. then Jane died in 1933. Can you see that? We can probably see that from the other side. Oh, I'm gonna make my way this way. Try not. You know, it's really hard to watch where you step on these old graveyards and stuff because it's hard to tell. It truly is, you guys. Okay, go this way. Like, this makes me nervous because I don't know where I'm... Okay, here we go. All right, Dolan died in 1994. Mr. Green over here died in 1989. I had it pointed at you saying Mr. Green died. I'm, I'm reading their footstones because their footstones are easier to read sometimes. That's the truth, too. Okay, and this is the one from... I saw over the fence. This is Vendetta Mickey. She died in 2004. Rest easy, sweet soul. Now, I, I don't this, know this I'm writing. not sure about. I don't know if possibly somebody just put flowers here. I'm not too sure. And like I said, whoa, this one's totally broken. Look at this, you guys. It's sunk into the ground. This one's sunk into the ground. Wow. Oh. Romeo Jasper? Is it a Jasper? Phew. That one just completely just almost melted into the ground. That's crazy, y'all. And then here you have Katie Rice. And the funny thing about it, I know some Rices, but they live in the Northern Neck. This is um, nine years old. This one? Oh, jeez. I mean, you guys, this is crazy. And here you have John Norman. 
81. Wow. Hey, look, I'm not sure if she was born in 1909 or died in 1909, but my grandmother was born in 1909. I believe Miss Sophia is still alive. I believe that's her. Well, she, her husband. you realize that she would be extremely old right now. Right, well, he was born in 1904. There you go, let's go over here because it's getting dark. I'm not afraid of the dark, but this is Charles Jasper. Wait a minute. Down here too. Huh. Okay. Alright, so some of these are fairly new. But fairly old. But fairly old as far as age wise goes. So to end this video, I'm gonna come over here. Because I really do. I love exploring stuff like this and finding amazing stuff like this. Mary Louise, Herman Harris. Now this is what I was curious about. Um, I'm not stepping in it. Isabella Graham and Kalashian Graham. So Kalashian Graham looks like he died in 2017, where this might have been his wife died in 1983 so he carried on for a very very long time after his wife passed away but one more pan around this amazing little cemetery known as Grayson Cemetery in the middle of a trailer park in Stafford County Virginia now, before what you, did you want to point out? Before you end that, come this way. I want to show you something. Give me my coffee. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Thank right. you. Now, I don't know what these people were thinking or if they even were thinking, but how can you disrespect your loved one enough to do something like this? You walk through the gates of the cemetery, you look down, and this is what you see. Someone's ashes. Unmarked. Unmarked. Look at this. This this is pathetic, this. people. And you know what they say about this kind of stuff, you guys. That there is a restless spirit because it's not at rest. Somebody dumps a human being right here and at the front gates of the cemetery. And it still has the tag. Granted, the tag is very old and faded. But yeah, don't. It's. Oh no, I'm not trying to disturb it. No. I was just seeing if there was a date on the tag. Or There's anything. nothing. There's no. It's like somebody took the name away. And just left it here. Well, just left it here. Like, okay, you guys, hold on. It's disrespectful. This is where it's at. Okay, this is the front gate. That's where the ashes are right there that were just kind of dumped. And it's very weird because I contacted one of the ancestors to this gorgeous place about this. And she said that she's never, ever heard of anything like this before. And she will be here tomorrow to possibly bury them as an unmarked grave and it's sad because that was somebody's mother father brother, grandfather sister, brother child. sister child and anything it, and somebody disrespected this person like this even a family pet it's still disrespectful it is very disrespectful and for one you want to say something go ahead uh yeah not it's only not only disrespectful but it's against the law it's in plain sight that's just dump it that's no worse than dumping a human body you're right about that because that guess what? That was a, it is a human body. Yes, it, that is in someone. ash form. That's someone just like we're someone. So you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. One more pan around. Again, this is the Grayson Cemetery, and I was glad that I was able to get access to this place. And again, it backs up to I-95 and people's homes, which to me would be pretty cool if it backed up to my house. But you know. It doesn't so i'm gonna go ahead and end this video right now and i hope y'all enjoyed this video if you did give it a great big thumbs up subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell to be notified of every single time i upload a video and have a blessed evening